boys. Today I finally decided I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna point out all of the horse shit in this fucking level, right? Uh, but before I do, I want to say obviously, this guy Nexus. I'm using his video as an example because I can't really use my own because of the way it's recorded. So I'm gonna put his link in the description right at the top. Um, of course, credit to him. Um, and the main thing is, yeah, Accu is a good level, all right. Before all of you fucking Accu, Niejef who stands get all mad. The level's good, but. It's the most overrated extreme in the game, by far. Everyone thinks it's perfect, and it's, people say it's the best extreme, and that is wrong. Um, that is totally wrong. It's way too overrated. Um, I, I think it's a great level, but there are tons of flaws, which a lot of people don't see in the level. But me, as a person who took ages to beat this, and got incredibly unlucky beating this, I have seen them and experienced them, and I'm going to be sharing them now. So yes, this video is just going to be hate on the level, mainly a tiny bit of praise here and there, and that does not mean the level is entirely shit. This It just means that this video isn't centred around praise. This, 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 this video isn't some like perfect documentary about the level Accu, it's just what's shit about it. Mainly the gameplay, actually only the gameplay, because um, the deco in the song is great. I can't complain with the deco at all. So just the gameplay I'm going to be focusing on, and I'm going to tell you everything that's shit about it. Firstly, the beginning! The beginning is boring as fuck! <laughs> the beginning is so annoying! Um, I, I, these clicks are fine. These clicks, honestly... They... I don't think they ever became consistent for me. It's blind luck. Because you're just like, you click in the middle, but they're based off of each other. So depending on where you click here, determines where you can click here. And depending on where you click here, determines here, which determines where you can click here. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a shit show, really. Uh, that jump's fine. This, also, just never got consistent. Um... I, I, this jump just fucking sucks. It's so annoying. I like I, I was still dying here a lot up to my final attempt. It, it like you you can try and aim like to jump next to the letter, but the the, the gap is too tight to the music sync. To, you know, technically it is synced. You know, like like you know, but there's just too much room on the beat. For it to be, like, for the thinks for the sync to actually help, if you get what I'm saying. Then up here is fine. For some reason, this orb is a lot harder than this one, uh, but you can literally just jump over the top and skip it, which is much easier. This is also blind luck. Like sometimes you can hold, sometimes you have to time it, and you just have to pick and choose which one to do. Um. Normally, you have to try and what I did. Is, uh, what I did is I would try and time it here kind of I don't even know I don't even know what I did I just clicked to the song and hoped and sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't um well, no this is this is more probably just a skill thing uh but this also never became truly consistent it was more just click to the song and hope but I think that's a fault of me and not really the level but this just never really felt like the difficulty fit with the rest of the beginning. These jumps just fucking suck. I think they were nerfed, and I, I'm i playing the unnerfed version, so I do believe that is partly a fault of my own, and partly the fault that no one's made a fucking accu or ultra low detail of the nerfed version. But, um, so, oh yeah, so I should probably say that I am going off of the unnerfed version, but I have played the Nerf version multiple times in practice mode, and it changes like two clicks. Like, probably five genuinely in total it changes. So, it, it, this is, you know, very, very nearly up to date. It, it changes so little that you don't even need to consider that with what I'm saying, really. But yeah, these two clicks, 
they're just very annoying. Rest of this is fine for a while. Uh, this part's okay. Well, no, this part's this part's fine, but it's just very weird. It's it 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 takes a long time to get consistent at this. It's very very strange, and you can feel like you're doing the same. There's a bit of an odd mechanic with the jumping, with the orbs being basically everywhere, is what it essentially is, because it's following you. So it's a bit, um, like, like sometimes you'll click and you'll just go straight up, and sometimes you'll click and you'll, like, glide through. It's very, very weird. Same here, sometimes you'll just go straight down, sometimes you'll, like, glide through it. It's very, very odd. And I think there's a bug here, or, or something. I can't remember exactly, but it's either... There's just some fucking thing by here. I think it's clicking here. Where I, I believe sometimes you can click and you just and you survive, but then sometimes it jumps into the top. And I can't remember if that's just a micro click or if it's a bug. I honestly I don't know. I just remember there being a large annoyance with this click by here. So uh take that with a grain of salt, I suppose. This part's fun, this part's a lot of fun. For some reason, again, probably... I mean, yeah, this is a fault of my own. But this part, like, it will just switch 50-50. It will just be muscle memory I could do it with my eyes closed. The other half, like, literally, this alternated daily. Um, I, I just couldn't do it for some reason. For some reason, the clicks just didn't match up. And I'd spend the whole day just dying here over and over again. And the next day I'd come back first try and I'd just get, I'd get him first try, I'd get him every single attempt I could again do with my eyes closed. But then, the next day again, the, I, I, it would all just fuck up and I don't know why. And I assume that's because of me and not the level. I'm not necessarily blaming the level. But it, it, it was a bit of a piss take so I'm going to point it out anyway. Uh, this, I, I'll probably make a short video at some point here of how completely fucked this part is. Well, not fucked, just... The, the intended way is fine, but you can do so much bullshit. You can jump here, skip the orb, jump there, and then just jump down there. And then you can jump back up to there, and there was some other weird path. I'm pretty sure you can jump straight up to that block and survive. There's so, <laughs> there's so much horse shit you can do in that one second. I'm pretty sure you can go into that gap on the left. And <laughs> So I'd love to make a uh, short little clip of that, because I think it's hilarious. I sent it to Jacob, I'll try and find it at some point. But um, the actual gameplay is fine. I mean, it, yeah, it's quite fun. And then the drop. Um, if we continue here. The first look of the wave is fine. I mean, here, this felt a bit inconsistent. I think there's moving objects. Yeah, these fucking spikes, just sometimes they'd kill you and sometimes they wouldn't. And you're so close to the ceiling that you don't really know what's going on. You just click the music and hope. And getting killed to these spikes is so annoying. Because it really, really feels completely out of your control. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big, big fucking piss take. I, I, I believe there's a timing you can hit the green orb where you survive. But then it's impossible to survive the yellow orb because of the spikes. But I'm not really sure. I never exactly tested that. But that's what it definitely feels like. That's fine. This, this shit, is so just—it's just so hard for no reason. Like you, you turn into a mini wave. The portal is invisible, obviously, so you can click anywhere in here. So it's basically like the portal could be anywhere. It's not like a big portal because that's not the same. Because if it was a big portal, it'd start right here. But instead, it's it's very fast. So you have like this tiny amount of space to react. You're never going to get it consistent, at least on my skill level. I should say that as well. Obviously, um, if you're beating Tartarus, uh, you're not going to have as many issues as I did. But this is a low-level extreme made for players like me. So I'm going to say it from my skill level and my like skill perspective, if you get what I mean. So, you, you know, you're, you're a free-time speed wave. You don't have much time to react there. So you're never going to be able to really get a consistent feel for when you become the mini-wave. Which means that when you have a mini-wave up here, getting ready for this click, it's very inconsistent as to where you are. Because obviously your amount of time that you're holding is also inconsistent. 
as well as the time you started holding them become the mini wave is inconsistent, which makes this part there this click fucking is awful. Sometimes you're just there, sometimes you're there. Most of the time you're down there. And this this little double click it it was just a blind double click essentially where I just go ba ba and I'd hope. I, I tried so long to get consistent. I think the longest time I was consistent at this little section here was like uh, 30 minutes and then I lost it again and I tried for so long but it just never worked it nothing worked it's just a blind double click which is too fast for me too well not too fast for me it's just too fast for this level it doesn't fit the difficulty this was a a choke point this was a choke point I should just say that but, but it's fun I should say right I have a lot of issues with a level with like difficulty and stuff and just um, annoyances, but unless the part is awkward, which is which is to be fair is fairly rare, um, the gameplay is very fun. Like on the attempt I beat this level, I was having a lot of fun. I should say that. Um, this, um, I think there's something you can do. You know, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna really point that out. But this, there was just some like a weird bug, where you just couldn't survive by doing something. But I don't really know. That's not fresh enough in my memory. Uh, that's fine. For some reason, this drop, so many deaths happened, where I was just like, "What the fuck even happened? What? Why did I die there?" And I, I, I never figured it out. Um, and yeah, it's just very annoying. Are you, are you. I think because of the moving objects, you do the exact same thing as you normally do, and you can feel so confident that you've survived, but you just don't, and it's very frustrating when you die like that. Uh, this part, uh, not really a more of a grievance than a full negative thing. You can just skip this if you hold, if you buffer this green orb, which literally makes the timing easier. Then you can skip this black orb, which is just like, like, come, come on, man. <laughs> you can literally get, just delete the black orb, and it essentially makes it easier because you're not inclined to then time this green orb. Um, so that's just weird, really weird why it's there. Uh, wait, let me go back a little bit. Yeah, this part's fine. That's a bit odd. N not odd, it's a bit like... The previous part of the drop has been pretty... Like, decently slow, and then it's very, very fast there. Which feels a little bit out of place, but I mean, it's just the music, you can't really uh, be too mad at that. For some reason, it was one of these to I think, this one. Again, just some days I could do it. Most days I could do it. it I think also this click. But then some days I would just come on, and I'd be really inconsistent at these two for some reason. Uh, I, I, it's just really, really frustrating. Most of the drop is quite frustrating when you die. You barely know why. And then here, same with these. These green orbs are so, so fucking annoying and inconsistent. And you can also, depending on when you hit this blue orb, you can just skip them. You can just jump on these blocks. And if I took the time to get consistent at that timing, I probably would have kept with it. Um... But I couldn't really be asked because it's a bit hard. I can't tell which is harder, but I did it the normal way for too long to really decide to change. But yeah, you can quite easily just skip the green orbs and just hold. So, uh, yeah. This is also essentially a tip video. I'm going to be giving you all of my... Not all of my tips, but anything which fucks up the gameplay, I'll give you tips for that. This ship sucks. This ship is so inconsistent. I found a consistent way, and it was still inconsistent. This ship is just <laughs> this ship is just awful. Well, not awful, but it's just I, I, I you hate playing it because you've got to release at this certain time. Sometimes you can release and then like click only once and get through. Sometimes you can release and then you never have to click. Sometimes you release and you just die because you haven't got enough momentum, and it feels like you start at different points and the amount of momentum you gain is completely just randomized. Um, so you can click and then you have to like straighten stuff out properly. This is too reaction based. You've got to let go here and you have like 0.1 seconds to see how much momentum you have and to calculate that and then calculate from that how many clicks you're meant to do and like man. 
<sighs> I, I I found a way which was consistent for me, which was releasing here and then clicking once more, but that was still inconsistent because of just the way momentum works in this level. It is so annoying. Uh, this is fine. The jewel, the jewel is fine. It's not perfect, it's just there's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, very annoying when you die there, but just don't die there really. It's it's a good balancing, and I mean, yeah, the jewel's, the jewel's fine. This. I, the next, like, this, until, like, 70 odd, like, 60 ish, is my. I, mm, I don't know if it's my least favourite part of the level, but it's the part which I had the most trouble with, uh, and the most grievances with in normal mode. This spider sucks. I, I hate this spider with a burning passion. It just doesn't sink properly. The, the clicks do not match up at all. It took me so long to get somewhat consistent at this. And when I say it took me ages to get consistent, like, I, I was trying. I grinded so many parts of this level trying to get consistent. I never truly got consistent at this part ever. This was always like a 50-50 chance for me because I would, because was, beforehand so much of a level is perfectly synced and this just isn't. And it's so out of place with the sync and it, it sucks. It, it's too fast, it's too tight, it's not synced, it's basically blind. You try to use the music to help and it doesn't help at all. It hinders you. It sucks. This UFO, um, is very annoying, very inconsistent, absolute like piss take. You would so often die here because of just like a tiny, tiny little mistake. And like some sometimes, for this entire part, it just feels like the level went wrong and not you. That's what it felt like a lot. Whoops. This wave, like you have to react to what height you enter the wave portal. And then it's very, very quick. Those clicks are very fast. This wave is very annoying and very difficult. And it just comes out of nowhere. You have no time to react. And it's another one where you just hold and you hope you're at the height that you're normally at. And then you release and you just hope you make it, essentially. Which is very, very fucking annoying when you're a decent chunk through the level. Uh, going back a bit. This feels a little bit too tight. Like this, I, it was this click over next click. I think it's been next click. Yeah, um, this click hitting the blue orb is fine, but you can. But there's only a quite small window actually where you can hit the blue orb and then survive for the next part. And this this click kills you so much where you think you survive and then you don't. And this this click sucks. Just a little bit more room to be successful, and it would be a fine click. It would work perfectly, but instead it's very very fucking annoying. Uh, that's fine. This was a bit annoying, but that's just because I was a bit bad at it. I, I died there a lot, but that's my mistake though. The, the can't let go jump is very fucking annoying. And then this. This is so inconsistent. The combination of a green orb, which is obviously very inconsistent, and this bullshit into the UFO portal. So, so And then the UFO portal, you're at a different height, you have to go through here, perfectly through there. You have to, this, that sucks. That one, like, half second of gameplay sucks so much. It's so inconsistent. It's bloody awful. Oh. In this wave as well, it's got fucking, like, moving objects and stuff. And it's another just blind, try and get the muscle memory for it. And obviously muscle memory is a big part of this game. But having to rely solely on muscle memory is very, very fucking bad. Like... You're at some, some, you're different heights, then you're up here, and then it's not a clear path because of the cogs, and they're moving slightly, and it's just too fast and too pissing annoying. This was, I don't know if this is me or the level, but this was very inconsistent. This entire section was very, very fucking bad for me. Like, you would just bounce fucking completely randomly. Sometimes you would go hit that and you'd be just really low and sometimes you'd be really high. And uh, you can try buffering them and still you'd end up in just these w completely different places every single time. And it's so just reliant on the previous click. A pixel could change 
like so much of your position here for some reason. And it's very, very annoying. It, this part is... I, I don't want to say awful, but it sucked. Uh, this is fun. It's a little bit awkward because it's kind of fast and sometimes it's holdy and sometimes it's timey. Which, that, 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 that is true for the entire level. It's, it's a bit awkward where some of them, some of the timings you can just like buffer and then it quickly switches between buffer and timings. Um, which isn't really a bad thing, I don't think. But it was definitely, it definitely made the gameplay a bit more awkward. UFO is a bit awkward, but it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Um, it syncs very well with the music. You can use the music to guide you very well through this UFO part. I, I shouldn't really be praising it in a video like this, but yeah, this, this UFO, this UFO part is pretty good. Um, this wave. It's a bit of an annoying difficulty spike, um, but it's quite fun, apart from that. But it's a bit too hard, but I get it, you know. It's got to be... Well, not really, actually. I think it just... I, I think they went a little bit overboard with the difficulty here. Um, and there's a lot of annoyances as well, outside of it just being pretty hard. Firstly, moving objects in a wave. Why? Why? I get you have a very movie level and it's very like modern and all of that shit, but leave moving objects out of the waves, please. You can you had big moving objects in the background, that will suffice for me. My my brain enjoys the moving backgrounds. Leave the obstacles in place in a fucking wave, please. Um and then here you can hit this mini too early. You're meant to click into it and go up. So that's what you're used to doing. But then uh, a lot of the time you'll hit it early, so you'll hit it before you click, and then you just die instantly. Which you know, again here, um, uh, like at my level, it's very hard to have to time your height with this amount of time. In what is it, a triple speed wave, a four times speed wave? I think it's four times speed, right? Yeah, I think it's four times speed. And then this, for some reason, you can just hit this if you hold. Again, you're meant to just hold. Then go through there, but you can just hit this sometimes. Uh, after hitting this uh, upside down portal, I think that only happened to me like once or twice in normal mode. Um, but that was really, really fucking annoying experiencing it in practice mode or normal mode. It, this block is just incredibly unnecessary. It doesn't even look good. It looks out of place, and it feels out of place in the gameplay. Deleting it would honestly just make this part a lot better, or just moving it to the side a bit. You know. Moving it down, move it to the side a little bit. Make it not possible to hit. This was very awkward. Um, you have to hold through here, quickly let go and quickly buffer again because of the gear in the uh, red orb. So it becomes very, like, and again, keep in mind, this is fucking four times. You've got to go, like, you got to hold into there. You have that amount of time to release and click again and keep holding. And it, it's just like, just. There's so many quick fucking input. Like, did you see how quick you have to click there? Like, that's mad. You have to buffer in that amount of time. It's just very, it's very. Uh, that entire wave section, uh, the transition out of the wave section, it's just a bit out of place with the difficulty. And it's very annoying. Um, here, here's another bit like the previous orb into the ceiling things where it just fucking chucks you around however it wants uh, leaving most of the control to you but a decent chunk of the level is a decent chunk of the control is still just handed to the level and you have to act under its whim and hope it just lets you through sometimes uh, this uh, well that's, that's fine that's just me being dumb I died for some reason here a lot um, this gameplay is kind of weird with how the timings work, but I think that's just me being bad. But then this part, this part is not me being bad, this part is the level being sucky. This is the main part, which I think is a genuine mistake in terms of the gameplay. You have to, okay. I'm gonna try and get it. Yeah, that's decent. So, in a four times speed section, you have this amount of time that amount of time, yeah, after you hit the blue orb, because you can't do it before you hit the blue orb, or you'll just jump into the ceiling, you have that amount of time in a 4 times speed section to hold, go into the black orb, and click it. Hopefully, you have you basically have to buffer it, 
because clicking as early as possible helps you for this next part. So you have again like that amount of time to cl to release and click the black orb. Keeping in mind, we have to make sure you don't do it too early because if you do, then you won't jump on this platform. And then you have to keep holding until you reach here, and then again let go very, very fucking quickly so that you can buffer this yellow orb. I think you have to buffer it. I believe so. All this part becomes all fucky. So you have that amount of time and you've got to buffer that and then let go when you have a decent amount of time and then you can go through there. But these, this one, two, three, worst three clicks of the level, maybe apart from the spider. It, I don't even think it syncs to the music well because of the way you have to release and click, like the orbs technically do, but then your clicks don't, so it feels like shit. Because it feels like you're playing against the music and it's just too fast and it's very like... Like, we can all we can all click very quickly, you know. But then having to having to click and hold between those clicks is so much harder. Like, try it right now. It's I mean, compared to it's so much worse. And they make you do it right at the end of the level, f too fast with too much room for error. And I'll, again, I'll just play it at full speed here. God. That's so so sucky. I if you if you don't believe me by just looking at it, go beat the level, and you'll see what I mean. I think everyone who's beaten the level can agree, unless again you've like beaten Tartarus. But that part is fucking awful. Uh, this is fine. I had a little bit of an issue here sometimes, but I think that's mostly fine. This this click was a little bit annoying sometimes, but again, mostly fine. Although sometimes it's it's a very small window we have to click exactly, especially at the end of an extreme demon, an easy extreme as well. Um, and you you can sometimes like jump into it before actually swapping gravity, which is very very fucking frustrating. I think it happened mostly, whoops, mostly with the upside down portal. It happened with both, and it's very annoying when that happened. Um, and now my least favorite section of the level. The fucking ending. This ending is so bad. This was such a bad idea for the end of a level. Let me uh, let me show you. So here you have to jump early, otherwise you'll hit this spike. So you can't wait at all. This platform's a lie. This platform's a big lie. You have to make sure you don't hit the black orb, and you have to jump as soon as you possibly can. And this. Oh, let me. That's uh, not really a good shot, but this fucking shit is so annoying. You look like you have so much room, but as a matter of fact, you don't. If you hit this, uh, if you hit this at all, apart from a very, very, very exact timing, then you go too far and hit the spike, or you go too early and hit this spike, and it's so easy to not get the correct timing. Again, at the end of a level, when it's just slowed down and it's very stressful, and this timing is reliant on this timing when you release this. Um, I think Jacob said you could just hold. Y you can't. So like, what well, you can, but it makes the timing harder because it's easier to hit later. So then it's easier to let go here before the S blocks. But then, what happens is based on when you release, it becomes very inconsistent. So you can choose to make it easier by making it inconsistent, or you can make it consistent, but that makes it much harder. And all in all, this is total dog shit, and the pink orb timing is way too hard. Uh, this is an th another thing where you have to hold, then release and hold, very like too quick once again. It's another one of those, like, it just sucks. F fuck off with this release and hold in 0.1 second bullshits. And then again, depending on what height you are on the pink orb, uh, determines the difficulty of this green orb. And by the way, if you hit the green orb very slightly late, you'll just hit that spike, I believe. So, yeah, total dog shit. Um, here, this is very annoying. I don't believe you can hold here. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. But I remember this being very fucking annoying. But I think here is my least favorite part coming up. Yeah, this. <sighs> this is the worst. It's another one. It's 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 the combination of the first bit 
where the time you let go determines the timing for this, and it's a quick release hold. <laughs> this gives me so much anger just looking at this piece of shit. And then also you have to time the release hold very, very fucking precisely. Because the like look at the cube hitbox and look at the spike hitbox. It's pretty much like it matches pretty perfectly. There's a very tight window you can hit this green or you can hit this dash orb and depending on where you release here, it just completely fucking determines the window. Because sometimes you can go here and hit it there. Well sometimes you can end up there. You have to hit it there. So oh God. Like so like Oh, I don't even know what to say. This just gives me anger. This part, if you've if you've beaten the level, at least at my skill range, you 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 know this part sucks. And then it's a quick release hold again, where you have to essentially buffer the green orb as soon as you reach it, which is annoying because you're holding as you reach it. You can go too high and hit there. I think I can't. I, I can't remember this point. This part, I do think it actually does have blocks stopping you from hitting your head, but it's just you have to click so quickly either way. It's very annoying. And then you can hold, and then I believe you can buffer here as well, so that's fine. This this green orb is very inconsistent. Well, not very, but it, it's it is inconsistent. I think it's very. I think it's too inconsistent for the ending of a level. Um. Uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. This green orb, it's it's very tight. Obviously, you don't want to hit it too late because you might hit the cog. Then, if you hit it too early, you hit the spikes, and it's it's a very annoying middle timing. Very, very fucking annoying. These blue orbs. Oh, let me rewind. These fucking blue orbs are very annoying as well. I I. It's another what. Well, Man, I'm I'm losing my fucking speech here just because, you know, a lot of a lot of this is experience. It's quite hard to put into words how bad this is. Um, but ju just trust me, this is shit. This part is awful. Well, not it, okay. It's not it's not as bad as some of the rest of the level, but it's very fucking annoying. Very easy to die here. Too easy. This sucks again. It's. This is based on how far you've jumped to the robot, and it's a very fucking tight window. And um, you know you can hit it, you can hit it too early, so you've got to try and hit it late. And if you hit it too late, you fucking hit into that shit. And then the the, the amount of lateness you can hit it, the, the window of late is determined by how much you've jumped, how far, and how high you jump here. It's very very fucking annoying, dude. And this is okay. This is very look, look at that. Uh, look at like, consider how close we are to the end of the level. Look at how tight that is. That's a robot jump. You have to time that perfectly, and it's base. It's it's not as tight as before. It's not too bad, but it is basically a hold release hold because you you got to hold all the way into here. Make sure you don't release too early while you hit that spike. So you've got to hold, basically overcompensate just to make sure you get it, and then release and you have a short time to prepare, and then hold up here again. And it's very tight and it's very annoying. And then here, I mean this is just like, not really a massive fault, it's just annoying because no one likes robot, we've got a time in there. And then here, this jump, it seems like you have tons of room, but you don't. It's so easy to die here. And then here as well. It, 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 this this ending is very fucking annoying, and a lot of it again is experience based on why it sucks, and it's quite hard to explain. But I'm gonna do my best. Um, you are very far away from the spikes, so it's quite hard to time this dash orb correctly. Keep in mind this is like the nearly penultimate fucking click in the level, and. Um, Timing it is very hard. I mean, you can... Well, it's not very hard. You can just remember, go through the middle and stuff. But, you know, you're panicking, you've got all the nerves and whatever. And you can't even really time it properly because... Like, look how look how tight that is as well. That's not a small gap. Like, essentially, the top of my cursor to that spike, that's the gap. That is not 
large. Did I say not small? That is not a large gap whatsoever. And you have to time it from all the way over here. And then, down here, oh! Depending on, you, you wanna, depending on when you release your fucking dash orb, it depends on how this orb plays out. And then depending on how you hit this orb, depends on where you hold and then hit this orb. Ooh. And no, you can't time when you jump off the block, because depending on how you hit the dash orb and hit this block, you'll be in a different position every time. So you can't just wait a bit, because the amount of time you'll have to wait will be different. And sometimes, you'll have already missed the chance you set it up for, making this part a lot different to how you've practiced. So you can't make it consistent, you have to just practice and hope you get it close to how you've practiced it, essentially. And you can never be like, I'll, I'll wait for this amount of time, that's just not how it works. Muscle memory doesn't work well here. If, if muscle memory doesn't work well in, a, in the last couple clicks of your level, it's not a good last couple clicks of a level, especially not for an easy extreme. I, I, like, I should be able to do this part with my eyes closed, but I can't, because it's reaction based. And this green orb is just, it's just so annoying. You want to hit it early, obviously, because what happens a lot, a lot of this green orb kills you on these spikes. A lot of it. So you want to try and hit it early, then there's this fucking cog, which looks like it isn't too in the way, but it is, with the timings that you actually, with the window that you actually have. Um, this cog can get in the way very easily. Like, there's, there's so much of a green orb which is filled up by this fucking spike. We use fucking this, this fucking triple. And then a ton, like, there's barely any of this green orb left. And then a ton of it is taken up by this cog as well. And then, as long as you get the green orb, you can hold here. Like, if you hit this platform and don't die to the spikes, you can hold. And yeah. That's it! Um, as I said in my completion video, get people at my skill level to play test it, please. Don't get people with top fours and people who are on the like top fifty of the demon list. And Crone, he's beaten Sunset Sandstorm. Don't fucking get him to play levels like this. Lukewalizer, truster, people who've had previous top ones. Get people like me. I'm not asking. I'm not asking you to come after me. And ask me to play test your next upcoming modern extreme. I'm telling you to get people at my skill level. Because realistically, the deco is made for the entire community, right? But the gameplay is made for us. Because we are the people who are in need of an easy entry level extreme. And I do agree, this is an easy entry level extreme. The difficulty is not hard for an extreme. But the gameplay fucking sucks for someone at my skill level. But then you get all these playtesters and they don't notice. They, they don't notice that this entire section is incredibly awkward because they can do it first try every time. So they don't see it. They don't see the, the wave at 70 is much harder than the rest of the level and that this is completely fucking unnecessary and that the ending is so awkward. I think the entire ending is genuinely bad. There's a couple clicks which are okay, but those are the clicks that are completely free. And you can't really say that free clicks are good, because, you know, they're free. A anyone can make a free click and be like, yeah, that's good. So, the entire ending is genuinely bad. Barely any redeeming qualities. But, the f but Trust is not going to fucking notice that, is he? Trust is not going to say, hey, mate. You should probably change this and make it less awkward, because it's not awkward for him. However, for, for, for people like me, who have jumped from... It's not a big, it's not a massive jump, but for people like me, and like a decent amount of chunk, decent chunk of people who are going to make a similar jump, I jumped from Windy to this. This sucks. It's way too awkward for the end of the level. And, you know, as well, people who... People like fucking technical who are playing this level, they're not going to be stressed at the end of an easy extreme. They're going to get here in like 50 attempts, and they're not going to be stressed. And that isn't a factor for them. But it's a factor for me, and for people who are at my level, which is what the gameplay, who, which is who the gameplay is built for. So please, don't get this list of big... I mean, you know, get, get the pester to play test your level all you want. 
but as well as him get people like us because we know how shit your gameplay is going to be or how good it currently is we can help you make an actual good entry level extreme so uh yeah to conclude AQ it's it's great obviously AQ is great but it's got so many flaws which no one points out because most people blast through this in a couple of days and they they just focus on the ooh it's synced and the gameplay uh, no it's synced and the deco is good and the song is nice and they just focus on that instead of actually being able to focus on the massive amounts of flaws in the gameplay but I, I played this level for I don't even know fucking how long 13 months I played this level for 12 years right so I know everything about this level. I know all the flaws. I got to. I I think I've died, uh, nearly every percent, nearly every possible death, apart from obviously towards the end. Um. Anywhere from here, anywhere from zero to like sixty. I died at every possible click, I believe. So you know. I'm I'm certified. I know I know what the fuck I'm talking about with this shitty level. Again. Not shitty, the level is fine, but there's a lot of flaws. It's very flawed. Um, what was I saying? I think I, I think that was meant to be a conclusion, but then I just went on a rant again. So I'm going to conclude it properly. Uh, the level is great. There's tons of flaws. This is certainly not the best extreme, or anywhere close to a perfect extreme. But it is decent. It's very decent. Um, and when making a low level extreme, Please don't just get big names. Don't just get big players. Actually, get people who are going to be beating this as their first extreme. You know, I feel like that's a pretty good indicator. I feel like they're going to be pretty damn good at telling you how good or bad your gameplay is going to be. I think if they did that, if they included many people who are actually going to be beating this as their first extreme, they would have pointed a lot of shit out. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh. I don't think I have anything left to say. Uh. I didn't script this in any way, so I probably missed something. But I'll just say the beginning, very boring and pretty damn awkward. Uh, especially playing this every single attempt, it's very, very fucking boring. And the drop is. The drop is. Mm, it's, it's alright. And then this fucking section, like the middle, the end of the this part. I don't know. I, I don't like how the, the drops of levels are like, you know, two minutes long, because then you can't differentiate each section properly. That's not a thing against the cube, it's just a thing against, like, levels. But yeah. And you get, like, past the jewel, and it becomes complete, total horse shit. And then it becomes fine again, and then the ending is some of the worst gameplay I've ever experienced. It's so uncomfortable. At the end of an extreme, I want to keep pointing that out again and again. They made the most uncomfortable part the ending. Why? Niche view? You, you genuinely fucked up there. That's a big mistake. Um. So, yeah. If, if you've got, like, one extreme under your belt... You're gonna have a blast, but if you don't, I'd probably recommend a different entry level. Um, although I'm, I must say, I'd get, I got incredibly unlucky with this level. So even if this is your first extreme, you'll probably still have a pretty good time with it. But yeah, like I don't know, man. This gameplay is completely ruined for me. I, I can't, I, it really pisses me off when people say this level is, the, the, the gameplay is perfect, because it clearly isn't. And if you would be, if you would have played it as long as I did, you'd realise the same. So yeah, um, I'm going to end it here now. I just realised I was going to make the video full screen, I don't know why I didn't. So I, I'm very sorry about that, if that's annoying you, or if that annoyed you. Um. If you disagree with me, I don't care, because you probably haven't spent many months on this level. So I genuinely do not care if you disagree. I would normally say, please tell me if you disagree. Um, but I genuinely don't give a shit, because I do not believe 
that you could dispute maybe more than like one point. Maybe I messed up once in this entire video, but apart from that, you know, I'm the one who's had all the experience in this level, you know? So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This was very rambly, because as I said, I didn't script it in any way, and this outro has been stupidly long. Uh, it should have ended like 15 minutes ago, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to end it now, and yeah. Uh, credit to, uh, again, Nexus for the video. I didn't ask him, because I have no idea how, but I assume giving a ton of commentary over his video won't be too offensive, if at all, if he finds this. Because I, I don't think he would, but yeah. Um, I'm going to end it now. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, go play the level, because the level, like, you know, playing it in practice is a lot of fun. The level is fun, but it sucks dick. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you.